Unit 2, practice 6 notes. I can write an equation for and graph an absolute value function. So in the Desmos exploration that you completed, you should have explored absolute value functions and how they shift and move. And at the end, we talked about the standard form of an absolute value function, which is right here. Y equals A times the absolute value of H, X minus H plus K. So one thing to note is that H and K is the vertex of the function. So that's that highest or lowest point of the function. And then A determines that slope of the graph. So how much we rise over run each time on our steps. And if it opens up or down. So in this case, this graph is opening up because the V is in its normal up shape. Um, so that means it's positive A. However, if it opens down like this, then that would mean a negative A value. So we are going to practice writing equations and graphing absolute value functions. So we are going to start by writing an equation for this graph in our standard absolute value form. So our first step is always to identify our vertex. So this point right here, we need our x value which is 1, because it lines up with 1 on our x-axis, and then our y-value, which is 5, because it lines up with 5 on our y-axis. And then we have to answer, does it open up or open down? Does the V in its normal shape opening up with the lines going upward away from the vertex, or does it open down? In this case, it opens up, which means our A is going to be a positive value. So now we want to find the slope of our graph. So we want to know how much do we rise and run each time. Sometimes it can be helpful to add extra points on your graph. And each time we're going up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one. So that rise over run would be one over one, which is just a slope of one. So to write this equation, we are going to do y equals our a value, which is our slope. Our slope is our a, so that's 1, equals x minus, now remember we're going to put our h and our k values in here, and that comes from our vertex. So we put x minus 1 plus 5, and that would be how we write our absolute value equation. All right, let's do another example here. Write the absolute value function. So again, we're going to start by identifying our vertex, which in this case is our topmost point, this point right here. So our vertex is going to be negative 4 for our x value and 4 for our y value. And then we have to answer, does it open up or open down? And in this case, it opens down. It's going away from the vertex, going in that downward direction. So since it opens down, that tells me that my A is going to be negative. Now we're going to find our slope. We're going to find that rise over run between the points. So if we look at these two points, we're going down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. So our rise is 2 and our run is 1. And 2 over 1 we can simplify to 2 and I am going to make it negative because it's opening down which means my a value is negative 2. So now we just have to put this information together to write our equation. We're going to have y equals our a value goes here so negative 2 times the absolute value of x minus, now this point is going to come from our vertex, we're going to use that h point first, that negative 4, and then our k value goes last outside of those absolute value bars. So we have negative 2 times the absolute value of x minus negative 4 plus 4. Now in most cases we will end up simplifying this double negative that we see here to a positive. So if you see a positive value there, a plus sign, that just means that our h value was negative. All right, so now that we've practiced writing equations, we're going to practice graphing them. So 
in this example, we have an equation, y equals the absolute value of x minus 2 minus 4. So I like to start by writing my generic form, or the standard form, right above that equation. Because that's going to help me as I identify these pieces of information. So to graph this, I'm going to start by identifying and plotting my vertex. Now, remember, the vertex is h, k. So if I look at my standard form, h comes after the minus sign. And now I can see that my h value is 2 because it lines up in that 2 in that h spot right next to the minus sign. And then my k value, if we look here, we have plus k, but in this case we have minus 4. So I'm going to take that minus sign, bring it over with the 4, and that's going to make it negative 4. So now we have our vertex, and I'm going to plot that point. I'm going to go to 2 on my x-axis, negative 4 on my y, and I'm going to plot that point. Now we have to determine, does this graph open up or down? And remember, that comes from that a value, that first value. But in this example, there is no a value. So if there is no a value, it really is 1. a equals 1. So it's 1 positive, which means it's going to open up. So our slope is 1, rise over run. So now we're going to use that rise over run to graph our function. We're going to go up one over one from each point. And that's going to give us one side of our graph. And then we're just going to reverse that to the other side. We're going to go up one and then just go left one instead of right one to give us the other side of our graph. And that's how you graph an absolute value function. So let's do one more example just to make sure we have it, and then you will be able to practice on your own. So we're going to graph this absolute value function. So again, I'm going to start by writing that standard form right above. And now we're going to identify and plot our vertex. So that vertex is your h and your k value. So I can see here that my 1 is lining up with my h, but notice we do have a plus sign instead of a minus sign. So when that happens, we're going to make our 1 the opposite value. It's going to become that negative 1. Just like we saw in that equation example when we had the double negative, it became a positive. In order to get that plus sign there, our h value has to be a negative value. And now here we're going to add to it k, but we're not adding anything. So since we're not adding anything, we're really adding nothing. So that means our k value is 0. So now we're just going to plot that point, negative 1, 0, which is right there on our graph. And then we need to determine, is it going to open up or down? And that's going to depend on that a value. Well, there is no a, so again, our a value is going to be 1 which means it's positive, so it's going to open up. And then that slope is 1, which means rise over run becomes that 1 over 1, just like we had in that previous example. So we're going to go up 1 over 1 from our vertex to get that one side, and then reverse it to go up 1 left 1 instead of to the right to get the other side of our graph. And that is how you graph an absolute value function using your standard form of the equation. You are now at that practice point, so you can do your practice problems and then complete your quiz on Schoology.